Hello, so I'm here to give you a little bit of behind the scenes of the Organs of Anne Lister project. And I'm totally channeling Anne Walker today. I mean, season two of Gentleman Jack comes out super soon on the BBC. And I just felt like, you know, it's festival week. Let's get in the mood. It's happening. So, Anne Lister, the lesbian, diarist, traveller, landowner, all time, all round, just absolute amazing woman. Um, also played the flute and the organ. And she actually played both the organs that are at Halifax Minster, did you know? So this organ sonata has been written especially for these two organs at Halifax Minster uh, that we know that Anne played. So they're by a builder called Snetzler. And if you are into organs, you will know that Snetzler built quite a lot of the organs around uh, the country. You can go and, you know, hear recitals on Snetzler organs. Uh, other interesting facts about Snetzler, Snetzler organs and Halifax Minster. Uh, the astronomer William Herschel also played at Halifax Minster. And did you know that the organist at the time that Anne was alive was Thomas Stopford? And Thomas Stopford gave Anne singing lessons get this in the public stalls those are public stalls they're still there you can go and sit where Anne would have had her singing lessons what's even more exciting I'm going to read you some little extracts from Anne's diary that are included in our program from some research we've been doing this is Anne's comments on organs all around the world 1831 the trumpet stop wonderfully fine Worth coming here to hear the organ. It was worth coming to hear the organ. And the trumpet stops on the organ at Halifax Minster are indeed wonderfully fine. No wonder she approved. Another little excerpt. Anne Lister in her diaries, 1800. Pretty church, organ invisible. Well, we're sorting that one out too, Anne, because the organs will not be invisible. People are going to be able to move around and sit right next to the organ if they want and see what's going on, hear it from different perspectives and get really involved with the world that she heard, the sounds that she heard. They're still there. Isn't that just incredible that uh, our ears can hear what Anne heard too? I mean, it's like she's really with us. That's really cool. She had two lessons a week. 1803. I'm going to learn to sing. I love how she just decides she's doing it. I'm going to have two lessons a week. Okay, not going to argue. She was quite a critic though. No pressure. <laughs> Anne Lister, 1800. In the meanwhile, got the organist to play. Lamely, the coronation anthem. I mean, she's just called this poor organist lame and they don't know that she called them lame. But we know, no pressure. So, Halifax Minster, this project has been funded by Arts Council in England, Calderdale Council and Halifax Organ and Choral Academy. Uh, my name is Rebecca Ockfotty, also known as the Girly Organist. I've written this organ sonata and been working on this project since September last year at the memorial service. Her ensemble, the UK's uh, first women non-binary um, orchestra are coming to join us. And do you know what's so cool about this concert? Everything is being played. Everything that's being performed is by women. I think Anne would approve. The other thing that's great is everything that is being played to the actual music, again, has all been composed by women. So come and support, come and listen, come and enjoy the exhibition, take in the Minster. It has an incredible atmosphere and yeah, it's going to be like 50 minutes of pure joy. See you there.